to episode one of Summer Cut 2019. I don't actually have a name for it yet, so we're just going to call it the Summer Cut. I'm in my living room right now, we're getting a lot done, uh, explaining why we might not have the most scenic of backgrounds, so we'll stick to this new grey wall, because it's a bit white. Anyway, I've just woke up, today's day one, I've taken my check-in videos, kind of looked at my physique and I feel as if I'm just very, very like, just thick in the midsection, like, my love handles and shit are uh, probably in the worst state that they've ever been in. And I've been thinking about taking a cut for like the past few weeks. And now's the time. I'm just going to go into it and drop a wee bit of body fat. I'm going to get on to my actual goals with the cut later on. But for now, we're going to head to the gym. I'm a liar. It's like half an hour later. I... I'm like kind of ill right now, my body feels numb and I don't feel great, uh, but I promised myself I'm going to start this series today, so we're going to make that happen. Should you train while you're sick? I don't know, I'm going to, it's debatable, but I'm going to kind of move for a coffee and a pre-workout, like it's one of those days, so we're going to get in here, hit some legs, try to just keep surviving, try to just keep chundering off, you know what I mean? That sounded like an old bastard kind of thing to say, but yeah, here we are. Let's go have some legs. Just made it to Bodyworks Gym. I haven't been training consistently lately, and I feel like by embarking on this cut, I'm actually just gonna, I'm just gonna get my life on track. You know what I mean? I always feel a lot more productive whenever I am cutting, and I'm just on point with my nutrition, training, and everything. So that's one of the main aims. Whenever I'm just getting through this entire cut all together, just to make everything a lot more like organized. So. Hopefully, we're gonna find that. I'm gonna chat a wee bit more about that later, but let's get into some squats. Before we hop into some squats, I'm actually gonna do some uh, glute bridges because I can always find that my squat tends to be very quad dominant, so I always feel that I just have a strong squat out of it just because everything is stimulated and aggravated. I'd like to be. I know I've definitely got a lot more in me, but for feeling the way I do right now, I'm happy with that. That was great. I feel like towards the end of that set, I was actually become a very quad dominant. As I said, I've kind of got a tendency to do that. Um, so I'm going to actually back the weight off down to 120 kg. Probably go for two or three sets of eight just to accumulate a wee bit more volume. So let's go. I just got to be loved. into some RDLs for a wee bit of hamstring work. Posterior chain is quite a lagging point for me so we're going to just try and control these and get the best contraction that we can really. It's all the mind to muscle connection so we're going to get the glutes fired, hamstrings fired, make some fucking gains. By the way, I hit 215 on deadlift like a week ago so if you're not already following me on Instagram, head over there, give me a follow because I don't know what you're doing if you're not following me. Workout 
complete. I kind of cut it short there. My body's just feeling fucked and I'm also fasted right now. So I'm going to get in, get my first meal in me. And then I'm going to chat to you a wee bit about just cutting in general. I'm going to chat about my goals, strengths, training, everything. <coughs> but yeah, I feel like shit right now, but there's never going to be a perfect time to start. So why not start fucking right now? You know what I mean? Hey right, folks, so just back from the gym. And we're going to sort of quite well in comparison to what I thought was going to happen. Uh, the strength wasn't quite there, but I was, I was happy enough with it. Anyway, I decided to come over here and chat a wee bit about my goals for this cut, slash mini cut, slash lean phase. Um, as you would have seen earlier in the physique update, I'm kind of just not happy with how far I've taken this gaining phase. And I feel as if I'm holding a lot of body fat just in like a midsection mainly. I'm quite happy with like everywhere else. Um, so the plan is to go back into a deficit for the next four to eight weeks. I'm actually going to Paris in four weeks, so I'd like to just like get there, be a wee bit leaner. That would be ideal. So my calories are sitting at about 2,800. And one way that I would recommend you to like calculate your maintenance calories is just through like a trial and error method. Basically, I kind of know my body by now and like what kind of calories that need to be input it to look a certain way. So I'm going for 2,800 for the first week. I can imagine that that's just going to be quite aggressive in terms of a calorie deficit. So yeah, I'm predicting to lose like 1.5 to 2 kilograms in the first week to be honest and a lot of it's just going to be glycogen and water weight uh, but I'd rather take it a wee bit more aggressive at the start just to get things rolling faster. My overall goal is probably to get down to about 80, 86, 87 kilograms. I feel like that's quite a comfortable like, position for my body and it's something that I can maintain without actually dropping like any strength or having to suffer too hard. Anyway, in terms of actually losing strength on a cut, that's it can be inevitable depending on how aggressive you do go throughout, but ideally you're not going to be losing uh, like any strength whatsoever for the first five to six weeks I reckon. Um, really I was, I, I maintained my strength in my last couple of preps up until about four weeks out, then things just started to get a bit freaky in the head. So yeah, if you do find yourself losing strength in the first couple of weeks, it's either all mental or your calories are far too low when you're just taking things too extreme. And meal timing might also be a route that you want to experiment with if you do find yourself suffering in your workouts a lot. Uh, you can just play around with your carbs and try and fit them closer to your workout to make sure that you are recovering and you're properly fueled for the workout because there's no point in like fasting for an entire day and doing a workout and just feeling weak. Whenever you are cutting, you want to optimize your performance as much as you can with the calories that you do have. So yeah, make the most of them. I am still offering online coaching. I've been keeping it quite quiet over the past few months because I've had uni and just a lot of things going on and it wasn't really at the top of my priority list. However, I've just finished uni and right, I think this would be quite cool. If you want to get shredded for summer, get in touch with me right now and I'm going to sort you out. Because I feel like it would be cool just having like a group of people doing this alongside me. So yeah, I I would help you with your nutrition, training, and just make sure you're optimizing basically everything to get the best possible results. So yeah, I would love to see people actually transform their bodies, and I would do it for a reasonably good price. I know I don't really have much to do right now in terms of clients, but starting off really as a coach, I'm just looking for transformations and things that I can later use to advertise myself. So yeah, feel free to email me, DM me, even send a comment up to yourself. Anyway folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. It was kind of all over the place, but I'm enjoying bringing the content to the table. We're only going to get better from here and we're also just going to get more shreddy from here. So any feedback would be appreciated. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.